if you're using our quick times data in timer pro you can edit any activity that you've made prior so for instance look over here in the motion reference area you'll see that the code sequence here is preceded by a QT in parentheses. That's indicating that the data source for this particular item was uh, QuickTimes. And that means that only for the QuickTimes we can go back to a previously made entry and we can double click on it and it will bring back up the existing pattern here. So let's say the guy came to you and said, uh, I cannot uh, do this one in eight seconds. What have you let me do? Well, just by bringing it back up, you can see here you've walked seven paces you got a single part 12 inches away, then you walk back again, five paces this time. And he says, oh, hang on a second, I think you've got the method wrong, because what I actually have to do is walk around the other side of the table, right? So you've got a method problem here that you need to fix. So how can we do this by editing the uh, the existing uh, uh, quick times value? Well, we simply click on edit. We select the value that we want to replace. We, this is a walk back, and we're going to click on the replace here. And then we click the new walks. So we click on the walk. And you say to the fellow, well, how far do you have to walk? He says, well, honestly, it's got to be about 14 paces. So you put 14 in here, you click on the OK, and it will instantly complete the rest of the sequence for you. So you can see here, we've actually up to 13 seconds. So what before was 8 seconds, now 5%, 5 uh, seconds longer. And then we click on the Save to Worksheet. That information is reinserted back in here. So you can see we're now over 13 seconds. So now we go back to the summary. And you can see the previous value for this get casing was 18 seconds. If we reset that and we summarize all the sheets again, the new value is 23.72, uh, reflecting the change in the method here, the addition of the additional steps in this particular uh, case over here from uh, 5 to 14. So again, only in the quick times can you double click on an existing element, bring it up and make the changes uh, directly to that particular element. Just so you know, all of the data that we cut using the QuickTimes uh, used in the estimating application is de actually developed and fully uh, backed up here. You can see we've got a manual here, uh, which comes with the full package. And of course, down here we describe how we actually did it. So in looking at this paragraph here, it says, in developing QuickTimes, we reviewed the data sets that were provided by all the major predetermined time systems on the market to ensure that QuickTimes offered equivalent and in most cases more coverage than all of these other systems combined. So we actually did a lot of research in what was already available and we then created the data for the QuickTimes in pure MTM1, Method Time Measurement 1. This is an example of one of our data sources. Here you can see the pure MTM1 analysis. Here's a reach, a pickup and a, and a release. Uh, notice here the reach has got zero value. Why has it got zero value? Because we get different variables down here. These are inches, 1, 2, 6, 12, 18, and 24 inches. And those are the codes for these different areas up here. And then what we've done is we've identified it. So we're calling this our get jumbo part uh, description up here. You can see we get these different uh, codes, these different cases. There's a constant part, which in this example is made up as a pickup and the release. There's a variable part which is made up of the distances, uh, the total TMUs, and working TMUs, that's the measurement unit of the MTM, and we round that, and then we convert it into minutes and seconds so that the average person can understand what is going on. So for instance, if we look at the example, get a jumbo part, 18 inches away, this particular code right here, it's got a value of 1.08 seconds. That value you see right here, I'm highlighting it right trying to highlight it right here right that one right there and now let's see where that comes in actually back on our estimating worksheet if i double click on an empty row here and i just say get a jumbo part 18 inches away there is a value 1.08 seconds and of course that value came from the analysis in the pure mtm this value right here so all the data you're using is fully backed up to give you reliable standards just by pointing and clicking around the uh, the, the quick times developer